Pennypack uh, Creek had many, many mills on it. Uh, the Pennypack Creek is 22 miles long, and it probably at one time had 36 mills. There were 13 in the city of Philadelphia, uh, going all the way from the mouth of the creek, uh, the uh, Penny pa the uh, Pennox Mill, the Holmesburg Mill, built in 1687, to much further up the creek here at Verree Road. The earliest mill was here, Gwen's Mill, built in the 1660s. It pretty quickly dilapidated. I don't know how much it was really used uh, in the early 1700s, but by the Revolutionary War, the Varee family had bought it, Robert Varee, and uh, they fixed the dam up, extended the dam, uh, built a mill here close to uh, Varee Road. We see evidence of the race still. We see the uh, quarry, stones that uh, were used for the quarry to build the dam, to build the mill. That's the bridge over Varee Road. The path that leads up to the dam there. The mill itself would have been right in this area. The race would have ended probably right about here and gone back into the creek called the tail race. A raceway runs uh, out of the mill pond. The dam is to create a mill pond. Out of the mill pond, the water is channeled down to the mills, down to the water wheels <coughs> that turn the mills that then grind the grist or run a sawmill or what have you. Uh, the raceways are the channels for those uh, to r run to those mill wheels and to the mill. So they started out as grist mills. Grist mills, uh, a grain mill would uh, uh, grind grain, wheat primarily, flax, corn later on, sawmills as well. That's what really uh, got people here. That's uh, what brought the Swedes first. Uh, the Swedes weren't up here too far, though there's a tradition that they came up as far as Fox Chase, but they were down on the mouth of the creek. It was really the English that came and moved on up the creek and uh, built these grist mills, mills, water wheel driven mills, uh, that had been used in England. They were very familiar with the, uh, uh, the, the industry and uh, how to build these mills. Uh, so that's what populated the area. Without the mills, there would really be no reason to be here.